Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my new setup. There is a bag of charity shop clothes behind me, so if you can see that, I'm sorry. I still haven't got around to go to the charity shop. Um, so today I have got a haul for you. Um, I have just been picking up bits and pieces here and there. I've been wearing this makeup all day because I've been at work. And it's my first video back after my mum sadly passed away, so... Yeah, let's get on with it. Um, first couple of things I wanted to show is just the hair dye that I'm going to be really badly needing to do. If you can see my roots. Um, it's the Live XXL in Radiant Red. It's a bit echoey in here, isn't it? Oh well. I'm going to move on to skin care. I bought two of the L'Oreal clay masks. I bought the Detox and the Glow Mask. I have tried the Detox one once. Um, it just comes, they come in a glass pot, the wee lid. It's quite messy, that's the only thing. But I did enjoy it. Um, and I look suitably crazy with a black mask, a grey mask on my face. Um, but yeah. Um, there's quite a lot of skincare in this. There's a few makeup y bits as well. Um, so... I'll keep with the skincare first. I decided I needed a toner and I was doing a super drug order so I decided to get this one. It's the Garnier Simple Essential Smoothing Vitamin and Rich Toner and it's suitable for sensitive skin. I didn't want it to like hurt my face off. Um, but yeah, I haven't tried it yet but I'm going to give it a go. And because I order quite a lot in super drug or bits, one of the things, they give me a little mini micellar water. Um, which they really should make this 100ml so you can take flying with you. I don't really use it all that much, or I have used it in the past, but yeah, it should make it. Garnier, make it 100ml so you can take it in the airplane with you in hand luggage. And speaking of Garnier, um, I wanted a thingy cream, day cream. This is said, my friend told me this had um, SPF in it because my the foundation I'm going to show you that I've been using doesn't have SPF because they discontinued my Rimmel foundation. Um, but it's not saying it on it. That's annoying. Maybe it's the Australian version that has SPF because she lives in Australia. That would make sense. But yeah, it's annoying. So it's the Ultra Lift. And then I got the night cream as well. It's the Moisture Restore Recovery Gel Cream. I'll give that a go. Um, Another moisturising beauty bit. I got the Nip and Fab Exfoliate the Glycolic Fix Serum. I've been using this um, since I got it last week and I am enjoying it. It's for fine lines and wrinkles and exfoliating and the texture of skin. But my skin texture is a bit crap really. But yeah, I've been enjoying that. And... I already have this but it's running out but the packaging's different. It's a Neutrogena Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit Daily Scub 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 Scrub um, I have used nearly a full one of these and I do enjoy it. It's not too harsh. I don't use it daily however um, but yeah it's good. So that is the skincare bits. Did I say beauty instead of skincare earlier? I don't know. Anyway, next on to, actually I'll show you a couple of brushes that I got first of all. Um, I got two of the very pretty Spectrum brushes. I got this big fluffy one. I have been not, I've been so restrained. I got these a couple of weeks ago from Beauty Bay and I have not used them yet. And I really need to wash my brushes before I go home on Friday. And it's now Wednesday. Shazza! Need to do that, remind me. Although you won't see this. Nah, okay. Anyway, I got the A06, like big fluffy, like blendy shadow brush. And then I got the Buffin brush, which is B02. Um, I just love the colour of these. I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for. Don't know if it'll be good for foundation. It's a bit soft. Maybe give it a go anyway. If not, I'll just use it for like blusher, bronzer, or something like that. But yeah, so soft and so pretty. Matthew's doing something in the kitchen down below. Thanks, Matthew. 
Um, I did get another, a new one of these. It's the NYX Micro Bro Pencil in Brunette, but it's gone missing. Now, the reason I got a new one is because I thought this one had gone missing, but it turned up. Yeah, that's enough to go back home. Please go down, please go down, please go down. Yeah, I love this stuff, by the way. It is so good and so affordable. It's like seven quid. Um, I got a couple of foundations. I actually got another one, but I don't know what I did with it. I got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Tried this once or twice. Mm, not quite sure. I got a natural ivory 105 and I really don't like it. So that might be going to a new home. Friends, if you want it. Any of my friends or anybody from work, let me know. Um, but I did get this because, like I say, my Rimmel um, Nude Last and Finish foundation has been discontinued and it's my daily foundation. It's so annoying. Um, so anyway, I've just had to go for this. I've got it in 10 porcelain. It's what I've got on today since half six this morning and it's now half seven at night. So I have powdered and stuff, but I still, you know, it's decent. A um, couple of things I got from Beauty Bay as well. I uh, got Colour Rain Liquid Lipstick in Berry Rain. I also got Roulette, which is a darker purple, and it's gone Moggies too. See when you move house, it's just a nightmare. Anyway, I love this colour. I do. I really want to put it on right now, but got about three different colours of lipstick on me already, so we won't do that. And I got the Gerard Cosmetics Hydro Matte in Summer Lovin'. And it really is Barbie pink. I saw a couple of swatches of this, right? And I thought, oh, isn't this like, like candy Barbie pink as I thought? Yeah, it is. So yeah, not sure. I've used it in the middle of that maybe, just to kind of lighten it up in the middle, kind of contouring my lips, you know? Um, but not fussed really on it, you know. I don't know, I might change my mind by next summer. Um, I got some lip pencils. I got the Makeup Revolution lip liner in Vamp and I really should have opened this before I started this video because it always takes me ages opening a lip liner. Oh, no, we got a live one. I really don't want to mess up this room because we've got people in our house tomorrow and I wanted it tidy. But Laura's not very tidy, is she? Mm, that wasn't smart, Laura. Why am I talking to myself? Anyway, it's this, like, kind of cool tone plum. So I just thought, yeah, I've already started thinking about the darker colours. Oh, oh, is it going to go in? Is it going to go in? Ah, oh, fiddlesticks. I've broken it. Oh, it can be sharpened. I also got the same Makeup Revolution uh, lip liner in Rebel. I assume this is supposed to be like Mac Rebel. Um, come on, yeah. Um, it's more of a berry toned purple. Um, or berry toned. Okay, so the camera cut out, and I tried it. Loads of stuff in my hand, so let me just whiz through. I was on the uh, Makeup Revolution Lip Liner in Rebel, and that is it there. Um, it's like a berry toned, pinky, purpley colour, and yeah, it looks nice, and for a quid. And the next three things I'm going to show you are um, were kindly gifted to me. Um, by my friend Dave, and I'll leave his links below. Um, I got the Chanel um, liquid glossy stain thing in 401, and it's so pretty. And that is it there, it's a lovely dark red. I haven't played about with it too much, um, but yeah, it's Chanel like Nick from Pixie Wee said. Um, Chanel does red really well. Trying to figure out whether it's yeah it's still filming. Uh, anyway, um and then from Tees, which by the way the packaging is awesome. I got Rebellious Red. It's like this, and that is it there. It's very creamy, so I have to really wear it with a lip liner. So, um I will do that. I have plenty of them, and yeah, but it's really pretty. And then the last thing he sent me was this Shiseido. Twice in a row I've 
said it right, I think. Um, uh, Lacquer Rouge in RD529. And again, it's like a liquidy thing. And liquidy thing, it's, but it's shiny. And that is it there. Um, it's very wearable and easy to pull off and just to throw on and stuff like that. So that's always good. My eyebrows look different in this clip because I tried out this Primark um, PS Pro HD Brows Long Wear Brow Pen. The tip is not what I was expecting. It's like a chisel tip. That's it there. It's way too dark for my eyebrows. So I don't know what I was thinking getting this colour. I don't know what colour it even is. It was £3.00. And I think I'm going to have to shave down if I do want to wear it. It's water resistant, smudge proof and long lasting. Um, also from Primark, I got a couple of brushes. Um, Siobhan McDonnell has talked about, I think, both of these brushes. They are a quid each. This is the eyeshadow and concealer brush. It reminds me of Shanna XO's like, little paddle brush that she uses. Um, one side is smaller and one side is bigger and um, yeah I think it'll be good for what it says, a shadow or concealer or both or neither, I don't know. And then this one is an angle brow brush and it's got a wee spoolie on the end and it's got a wee um, angle brush which is a bit too thick to do wing liner, maybe use this edge, um, but I think it'll be good for brows whenever I'm feeling a powder or I might get a pomade. We shall see. Um, also from Primark, I got um, these two lip liners. So one of them is in wine and it's this wine colour. That is wine there. At the very edge of my knuckles, the best place ever to swatch of course. And the other one is in aubergine which is like a brownie twist why is it a twist it's not going up is it no a brownie purpley color which is there and then the last couple of things i got were non-makeup items matthew's banging about got some midi rings and some hair ties which by the way say 1.50 but totally scanned at 50p bonus and um, these three midi rings i love midi rings and what i'm really finding interesting is since losing weight it's size medium I would have usually worn a large, but anyway, you lose weight in the oddest places, don't you? Not that I've lost weight recently, because, you know, food. And then, oh, actually, I didn't show you this. I thought I had, but I love my like with lipstick, as you probably know. Um, I got this PS Pig Pip Premark um, Super Matte Liquid Lipstick, and it's in the colour... 04. I hate when they don't give them names. But that's it there. It went on a bit messy. I don't know if it's fully dry to the touch. It's not transferring too much, is it? A wee bit. Oh no, that was the other one. Huh? Silly Laura. Um, but yeah, I want to give it a go for two quid. Why not? Just a little rant. I was in Primark. I was clearly looking at the makeup and some snobby doll came past and went, oh I can't believe that people actually buy makeup in here. Uh, bitch please. You're in Primark. You're clearly going to the till. You're buying something. You're not too good for this. Their lip liners are freaking awesome. So suck it. Anyway, I'm tougher. So that is hopefully everything I got. I hope that I didn't cut things out that I got. And now my makeup desk is successfully ruined with pretty lovely makeup and packaging. But I hope you have enjoyed the video. I am so glad to be making videos again. If you have missed me and you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, leave me a nice comment and take care.